Get ready to delve deeply into the world of Tesla stock forecasts with insights on the company's future growth potential provided by analysts and industry experts. The future seems bright. Lifelong automotive expert Sandy Munro asserts that there is a little-known feature of Tesla's incredible industry takeover plan that might propel the company's stock price to $1,000 per share by 2026, a prediction that many investors are keeping a careful eye on. But can this be accomplished by the huge producer of electric cars? In this video, we'll analyze the statistics and look into the factors that might have an impact on Tesla's growth trajectory. So settle in, relax, and let's see if Tesla can reach its $1,000 per share stock price target for 2026. First things first, don't forget to hit the like button and confirm that you are a Wall Street Game subscriber. Let's get going now. Monroe thinks that a share of Tesla stock might go up to $1,000 in three years. The prognosis is positive since I believe the share price will reach $1,400 by the end of 2023. If Tesla stock reaches $1,000 per share by 2026, it will be like Christmas arriving early. According to the Tesla stock price prediction chart for 2020 26, 2020 2026, 2022 has already passed. The stock is currently trading in the lower 200s to higher 100s. With more than 1.3 million cars delivered, the EPS was almost $4.70 and the overall net income revenue was significant. We anticipate a significant increase in 2023 compared to 2020 2026. In 2023 alone, 1.858 million cars were delivered. To learn how we got at this number, watch our video from the first quarter of 2023 when we break down the deliveries and output for the year. Approximately 5.1 million cars are expected to be sold by 2026, assuming a 40% annual growth rate. Due to the Cybertruck, the average selling price will be $50,000 in 2023, $51,000 in 2024, and $50,000 in 2025. In 2026, a little car might be released and go on sale for roughly $49,000 each. It could be constructed on a larger scale. We also calculated the operating margin for each vehicle for 2023, and the result was 14.5%. Although the current price reductions may cause it to drop to 13.3% or 12%, we expect the operating margin to gradually, gradually rise in the future years, reaching a target of 16% to 18% by 2026. Finally, we considered the one-time cost for autonomous driving in addition to the credits and earnings from the vehicles. It is projected that this fee will increase by $2,000 each year starting in 2024, 2025, and 2026. Given that this fee increased from $8,000 in 2020 to $15,000 in 2022, it is reasonable to expect an annual increase going forward. Sandy Monroe's prediction of $1,000 per share by 2026 is certainly realistic, despite its somewhat ambitious nature. By considering the figures and other factors that may have an impact on Tesla's growth, we can determine how this goal might be achieved. Nonetheless, it's imperative to always carry out due diligence before making any investing selections. To understand the potential increase in Tesla's revenue, we need to review the facts. As of 2023, 1.858 million Tesla vehicles had been delivered, and 279,000 of those owners had opted to pay $2,000 up front for full self-driving FSD capabilities. This translates into an opt-in rate of 15% FSD. However, we do not have any information about how many customers are paying the $200 monthly subscription fee. The entire revenue for vehicle sales and FSD can be calculated, and with a cautious 15% opt-in rate, it will increase by 2% a year. Tesla's energy profit by 2026 might be between $12 and $15 billion, growing at a pace of about 450% each year. After accounting for currency charges, annual net income is close to $1.5 billion, which translates into total revenue over $100 billion. It is anticipated that earnings per share EPS will increase yearly through 2026, peaking at $4.90 in 2023. An operating margin of 16% is a reason for hope. An EPS of $7.84 is feasible for 2024. Though some may find my forecast overly optimistic, there are several reasons to believe it. First, it's possible that neither a recession nor a bear market exists. Moreover, Tesla will continue to benefit from economies of scale. The price to earnings PE ratio must be determined after analyzing the fundamentals, as this will determine the stock price. The fact that there are 2% less outstanding shares of Tesla each year is noteworthy. By the end of 2023, a PE of 60 is feasible, which would equate to a stock price of $295 a share and a valuation of roughly $1 trillion. If 2024 turns out to be a good year, we could see even more development. Even though Tesla has a lot of room to grow its sales, it's important to consider factors like operating margin, inflation, and outstanding shares. Even if there are plenty of reasons to be optimistic about the future, it's important to keep things in perspective and consider all the relevant elements. We note that Tesla would have had net income above $57 billion and total revenue close to $300 billion if it had a PE of 60. They acknowledge that this seems ludicrous and irrational, but they also make the point that 
if Tesla continues to grow at a rate greater than 30%, it might actually come to pass. They suggest that additional revenue streams, such as energy, would be necessary for Tesla to maintain its current rate of growth and for the PE to become more realistic. Tesla may increase car deliveries, in our opinion. They hypothesize that Sandy Munro's future forecast of $1,000 per share is an attempt to compute this. We note that if Tesla is growing at an annual pace of 40%, 50%, or 60%, then clearly something is wrong with the company. Even while we are conscious of the challenges that lay ahead, we largely remain optimistic about Tesla's stock prices in the future. Let's perform some arithmetic together and look at Tesla's evolution throughout time. After about 500,000 Teslas were delivered in 2020, Elon Musk declared that the business would expand at a 50% yearly pace. Our estimates indicate that they ought to have delivered roughly 750,000 cars in 2021. Still, they sent 936,000 cars, or about a million of them. They only delivered 1.3 million cars in 2022, when they were supposed to supply over 1.1 million. They should supply a little less than 1.7 million vehicles by 2023, if we maintain a 50% growth rate, even after applying an additional 50% growth rate. However, we anticipate that they will produce more than 1.8 million. It will be challenging for Tesla to produce the 1.8 million cars they have planned by 2023, but we'll have to wait and see how they perform. By 2024, they should be able to supply a little over 2.6 million cars at a growth rate of 50%. The gap is closing, even though we still predict that they will make about 100,000 more cars. We project that they will provide 3.6 million cars by 2025, but if we keep up a 50% growth rate, they should actually create roughly 3.8 million cars. Assuming a 50% growth rate, they will need to produce more than 5.7 million automobiles by 2026. Let's now replace these numbers with the stock price. After 3.789 million vehicles were delivered, the stock price would be $718 per share with a 60 PE ratio by 2023. With 5.683 million cars delivered, the stock price would have climbed by 40% annually to $1,114 per share by 2024. They need a 54 PE ratio by 2026 to reach their $1,000 per share target stock price. Given Tesla's projected growth, a 50 to 60 PE ratio is manageable. If by then full self-driving FSD is regulated and widely available, a 56 PE ratio would be considered cheap for the business. Tesla lowers the number of outstanding shares by 2% annually, a move that could affect the stock price in the long run. There is a potential for a repurchase though, which would increase the stock price and reduce the number of outstanding shares. Long term, Tesla has a bright future, even with the uncertainty surrounding the near term in terms of energy, FSD, and overall renewable energy. If the company makes between $50 and $60 billion by 2026, nobody is comparable.